Hello guys and welcome back, in today's video, let us talk about curves, in specific the architecture introduction of it. How it works for us as beginners and what can we use them in, all that are here so let's go ahead and jump right into it. So the first thing you might ask yourself is what are curves? Well, it's the 2D part of Blender in a way, different to mesh where you add a fixed shape like a box or a sphere, curves tend to be more of drawing techniques, and we will see that here, in the curve menu, you will find in default 5 options, the ones we usually use are 2 of them, the busier and the path, and if we add any of them, we can work with it as normal with all kind of commands from scale to rotation and movements, once you hit tab on any curve, you will enter the edit mode, similar to most objects in Blender. Here with the busier curve, you notice we have two points, start and end, those called control points, adjusting their position or transformation in any way will affect the curve shape, and with each control point we have two handles on each side, selecting a handle from those two and moving it will also affect the area where the control point is, so it is like an equation where each part affect the nearest to it. We can after that select any of the control point then hit T to extrude and extend the curve along the direction we need, also by selecting a point and hitting V, we can change the type of handles on that point, same options can be reached in the right mouse button in edit mode, so for example, we can select this midpoint and make it into vector type, and that will change the corner shape to somewhat sharp. We can go again and select two point to align their handles from one to the other. Another option in the curve menu is the close curve, like the circle, with this you can make some cool basic shapes that are not easily achieved with meshes, and though you can delete vertices or points from the circle, it will remain a closed shape. The path curve is also important, but we will talk about it later with the path animation. So to unlock more options than those five, we can enable the extra curve add-on, this one is built in Blender but by default it's set off, so you need to enable it for the extra curve options to appear, and now you see the curve menu is somehow full with more options to go through. I really don't recommend it especially if you are a beginner, cause this will make it more messy, however sometimes you need maybe an option to help you do a thing or two easily. So let's say I need to make an arc with curves, I will add a busier one, then adjust its position and control point, move the point however I need and transform the handle to shape one side of it, I can after that copy all points with shift D and mirror them on the same axis, now to join those two curves, or the top control points, we can use another add on called curve tools, and similar to the one before, this also is shipped with Blender so just enable it, once we do that, you can hit N to open the side panel, and we have many options to control the curve, so I will go through two or three of them cause covering this alone might take a long time, anyway, to join the two control points at top, select them first, then go to this submenu and select join splines, and it tell us down here it joins zero, and this happened cause the threshold is small, so we need to increase it a bit then apply the join again until it works, now that it join the two point this shape will work as one curve, and the two points at top are now one, we can also select the two bottom points and connect them by hitting F, however I don't need it now so let's back from this, after that you can go to any point and change the handle type on it, or even lose the sharpness up top by fillet the control point there. From here on, we can go to the curve settings, under the geometry tab, and maybe give it some extrude with bevel depth. The resolution can be controlled from the bevel tab, and under it you can play with the start and end mapping in showing the curve. Now for me curves in ArchViz goes under three types, or three uses. First type is where I use them as a modeling technique or a sweep making method. For modeling I usually use curve to shape surfaces that need smoothness and free edit approach, and that kind of work is a bit hard with mesh, so curves can do it better, for example if I added a busier curve, and made some copies of it, similar to what we made in the organic tutorial before, 
I can change the extrusion of the surface part much easier than if work with meshes, and after that once I get the basic lines, I can turn them into mesh and use the loop tool with other modifiers to get the shape I need, this kind of edit on surface is much smoother if you start with curves. The other example we talked about is using curves as sweeps, so let's say this box is a house part or a wall, we can take any number of segments from it, separate them, and turn them into curves, I can also draw a second curve at the side, this new one will work as a sweep shape or a profile section to make it go around the first curve, so once I made the profile, we can go back to the first one, and in the bevel tab, make it an object, and select the profile section, if it's flipped we can just mirror it. Adjusting the scale and resolution is done in the section curve, so we can go back to it and make any adjustment we need. The other type where I use curves in ArchViz Blender is as a direct object, mainly pipes, wires and stuff like that, so for example, let's say we have a non-uniformed shape, something weird like this, and we want to make wires all over it, adding a curve on it and work it around will take ages. What you need to do is delete all the curves points, but stay inside edit mode, after that take the drawing tool and just draw at any area. Now by default the drawing is set on cursor, and the curve will go all around the place, but once you change that to surface, you can go and draw on any shape you have, and all that is done inside the same curve. The last thing I use curves with is path animation, and path similar to other type of curves have points and can be adjust to any shape you want to make, with path also you need to pay attention to the direction of the path, since the animation will follow that, you can check it in edit mode by enabling the handles showing, you can also switch the direction from the right mouse button, now to animate any object along this path, we can add something at the start of it, this cone for example, and while the cone selected, hold shift and select the path, then hit ctrl p and choose follow path, and here is your animation, easy and fast, works on objects, cameras, cars, the basic of it of course, we did explain it more with characters in the diagram animation tutorial, so check that out, and also with this path here, we can go to the curve settings, and use the animation path tab to control the cone speed might even keyframe it if needed, and that's it, like the video if you still here, and go watch this cool tutorial, see you guys next time, stay sharp, goodbye. Skadoosh.